Hello everybody, and welcome back to Magi Nation. Let's do it. So this is pretty cool. I want to show you something here. Like I said last time, or like the time before, this is new game. This is continue. Um, but remember, we got our uh, our power bracelet, as you can see, underneath Tony's face. And I remember this from last time. In the menu screen, there's a stairway. And something that we can't pass, but... It's cool. I can't. I've never seen it before in my life. So we're going to continue. Yes. So here we are at the Shadow Geyser. Let's do it. Going no problem. It's ground to walk on. All right. I guess in the Shadow Geyser, uh, you can't see where the encounters are. They are truly random. Um, we're gonna fight a couple of these guys. Hook wing appears. Let's focus up and just fight them. These are, um, I remember this, these are the core element things. And core is a name for like the evil, darkness, shadow, that kind of element theme. These shade. And I guess Nerum, which are grass, are, uh, are weak against it. We're just gonna keep fighting. See if we can kill it before the next guy gets summoned. Get the fight over with quick. Aw, yeah! Tony gains three experience or energy for the thing. Let's explore around. I love these things, they look like faces. Shadow Geyser. What's down here? Follow Leaf. Essentially, potions. I think it was 10. It recovers 10. Um, Shadow Vinok. There's not enough space on the Game Boy Color to get the entire name in there. So it's Shadow Vinok. Shadow Vinok used punch. Look how cool that guy looks. One shot kill. We're really strong, I think. Got some Shadow Vinok Anamite. Level 4, energy 135. I win. Max on my energy. Okay, that's a barrier. That's a switch. What does this do? Alright, we got a switch puzzle. Backtrack and switch puzzle. We're gonna try running right away. See if we can skip, skip this. Can't escape. Try it again. Got away safely. Since I can one-shot guys with a scratch, I mean, maybe it's just worth it to kill them one hit. Now we can go up here. Flip that switch. Got some rumbling going around. Obviously, it's going to be the, uh, the one that we saw before. I'm trying to make sure that I'm not, like, all uh, monotonous here, but... Do as we can. Vile Yogu appears. Focus. Let's see if we can kill him in one scratch as well. With our overleveled Furok of Fury. This guy looks so cool too. Eleven. There's two of them. We're gonna summon a Weebo as well. We gotta get another dream creature though. I think a fight will be enough. Because, uh... If I have only one guy and they kill him... It makes it really awkward because then I have to spend all my turns summoning. Yeah. And then we have to find the right ringsmith so we get it. Oh, Coil! Coil was like my favorite guy. Let's go, let's see if we can do this. We're gonna leaf cut. Uh, the Vile Yogu and scratch him as well if I can. And Weebo's gonna heal this guy. Maybe this will push over push over the uh, edge so that Scratch can do it. Though Leaf Cut seems to always do five. He's probably dead. Look at that guy. Yeah. Rip in peace. Uh, 
Ah, uh, getting wrecked by the wild encounter. Come here. I love the music. Alright, look at that, I'm already at half health. It's gross. Let's heal up a little bit. It'll be really nice when we get another guy for sure. There we go. Now we're getting there. Got three energy for the defeat. When I read that as a kid, I always read it as defeat. Got three energy for the defeat. I just always emphasized it that way, I don't know why. Now Fjork has one energy left, so he's gonna fight. Oh, and I got the kill. Five energy for the defeat. Got some coil animite. And if we check it out, now I'm at about 72, so we're gonna go ahead and use our Balu Sap twice. And for this reason, I'm very happy that we uh, broke the game and have infinite money. Because now we can uh, we can stock up and make sure we have max Balu saps all the time to aid us in combat and uh, between fights as well. Let's see what's over here. I think that was a fight I was trying to run from. No, it wasn't. I'm going to try to run from this one. Just a hook wing. I say just a hook wing like I'm totally, totally familiar with it. And I know the strength, but I don't. Got a Balu set. I don't know if I'm gonna pronounce it Balu Sap or Balu. I have a habit of checking left first. Oh, Shield Orb. Alright. Rings. Archaic Leaf is skill. Shield Orb is a billion defense. Hiron's Claw is strength. I th I think I I want skill instead of strength. I'm assuming that strength is uh Strength is fight, and skill is the damage, it's like AP, like the damage of my skills. Makes sense, right? So, I'm gonna try it out that way. Black So I'm gonna focus, and I'm going to scratch and see how, I'm going to scratch and see how much damage it does. When I originally got this game, I got it by mistake. My friend had um, a game called Azure... Blue Azure, Azure Dream, something like that. It was a Game Boy Color game, and it was, I thought it was fun, but I mostly wanted to play it because he was playing it. And my mom got it, this game for me by accident for my birthday, and it wasn't the one I wanted. But for some reason, uh, not for some reason, I mean, I just enjoyed the game. It was charming. I really liked the exploration and everything. And, uh... Then I got into the card game too. The card game is super cool. I just want to kill this uh, Black Agobo and then I'm gonna run. I might, I might be like not even trained up well enough for this. Oh, you missed. Am I dead? No, I got two energy left. Now I'm dead. Jeez. I really should have got another guy. I want to see if I can skip these fight scenes too. Make it a little faster when it's a, a scene I haven't seen. Oh, I can pause it. Let's see if B, B skips it. Yeah, it does. Alright, we can skip a fights a little faster now. And, uh,. Make sure these guys are killed. Killified. Shadow Vinox were a lot weaker. First thing we're going to do after we beat this Shadow Geyser is get another, uh, another dream creature to summon. Because this is torture without it. I thought I could, like, uh, cruise through, like in Pokemon. You know, you just stick with one Pokemon and you get a lot of levels. Um, and here, 
Doesn't seem to be flying. I think I'm just gonna run. Oh, I guess if I fail to run, I still issue a command. Pin energy. You can see some of the things are a little awkward, like using multiple items in a row. That's probably enough. Let's see what else is up in here. The combat's a little slow. The combat's slow. Let's get our Furok out here. Black Gobo again. Okay, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. And scratch. I'm going to attempt to uh, leave every every everything until I get to the boss fight. Run. We can scratch the shadow and knock to death. I came out. Pull the switch somewhere. Oh man, the combat, they're everywhere. Run. Need like a rappel. I seem to have closed the door. Oh no, that's probably the the next door. Yeah, okay. Doing the switch puzzle the right way. Totally by accident. I move up and down every once in a while to make sure I'm missing the invisible spawn things from the guys. Remedy drink? Okay, this time we're gonna fight. We're gonna fight to the death. Good, a shadow of the knock. Focus, scratch. Okay, that made up for the energy I'm gonna lose from the combat. Yeah, so I'm plus three, right? I was eight, minus five, minus five again. Focus up some more and fight. I'm also at a slight disadvantage too because the uh, the Furak is slow. He's uh going after everyone else is is a disadvantage for sure. Do -do 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 -do. Furak is weak against the attack. Furak survives somehow. See what happens if, I, if it's even worth it to summon a Weebo. We gotta get a little bit of experience here. I'm probably gonna farm a little bit, honestly. Um, get a new guy, farm up a couple of levels, and get some, get some strength going. My goal was to try to get a guy, like I said, I was trying to say, get a guy from the next uh, zone. And um, kind of be awesome that way, but... I'm gonna need him as soon as possible. And if I if I fight the boss and I can't beat him, I might just have to uh, both farm and get another guy like earlier. He was now level two. Oh, look how low those stats are. So if you look at my, my Furax is about to level up. Oh, I'm gonna see what's down here. Balu Saps. So I'm gonna, here's my plan. We're gonna recover our energy with the Balu Saps. Oops. Um, here we go. And we're gonna try to get to the boss area and then we're going to use our Eldritch All to escape. Tony can't escape. Yes, you can. You can do it. No, you can. If I die here, that would be very embarrassing. Run. There we go. Oh, 
this was it. I think I'm going the right way. Hmm. There's a bone stuck in the base of this grate. I'll pull it out. Click. What was that? I'm assuming that the uh, switch was jammed, and now it'll work. Ah! Run. Sorry, game. Did that do it? Is that the right one? All right. So what we're gonna do? We have we have 121 of 135. We have oh 11. Oh no, energy remedy drinks. We have three bottle saps. I think we can do this. If this is the, the this is the boss, I know it is. What is this? Some kind of rock? I don't think it's animite. Uh-oh, this place is coming apart. I'm out of here. Can I use my Elder Chal? Let me try this. Can't exit here. Okay. Stop! What the? You will not. You will go no further. Who are you? I am Togoth, guardian of this core gate. This shadow geyser? No, core gate! But Geo called it a shadow geyser. What the heck is a shadow geyser? What kind of a fruity name is that? If you call it that one more time, I will kick your hairy little buttocks. Hairy. The heck with it. I was gonna do it anyway. Alright, boss time. We're gonna start with Furok. There's no, no reason to not do that. Alright, the Shadow Venok. We're gonna make Weibo 2 right away so we can get, uh, it's a meat shield and also heal. And we will scratch. I must keep this courtyard open. It is our portal for destroying this pansy forest. I don't know what the, uh, bad guy's motivation is. Okay, he does 10 damage with punch. And I take 5 energy okay, to miss. Good job. So we're gonna go ahead and focus. Fight the Shadow Vinok and heal Furok. Okay, Weevil's dead. But it soaked like 10 damage. Fighting does 6 damage. Um, so Weevil, Weevil is always good to summon because he's going to be soaking so much damage. The Furok is going to die every time. To every attack. I'm probably under level to this. I don't know what happens when you die, I don't remember. But I don't think we're going to survive this. I'm going to be hit by four different attacks. I thought that we could just kind of waltz in and uh, kill him. But, uh, it looks like no. It looks like no, you can't. Jesus, that's like 40 damage. I'm going to try using our Balu Sap. Oh, we can heal monsters with it. That's pretty cool. Tony heal Tony for 30. Togoth heal Shadow Boy. Okay. We are dead. We are just dead. So. Look at that coil. Speed is down 20. I don't have speed, anyways. I'm 
gonna speed it up. Yeah, I gotta gotta do some training. Twenty one damage. One. Oops. I actually should have used leap cut. That would be pretty cool. All right, let's see if we die in the first one or if we have to go through the entire turn. Tony was defeated. Oh, it just jumps us out to our last save point. Continue. Yes. Yay, old style games. So, we are going to train and get some, get some, uh, another guy. That's going to be the plan. Uh, so, we need some more Narum creatures because that's the only one that, uh, the only kind that Pruitt will do. I don't want Weibo. I don't want Weibo at all. We're also going to max out our, uh, our healings. And see if I'm also see if I can power up. So I leveled up like I did last time. Um, and we should also gauge how much experience we're getting. So I have 35 on Firok right now in this zone by the Shadow Geyser. If I find another guy, I'm gonna summon another Firok. And there's another Firok. Focus and. Ours is going to definitely be stronger than his, probably. Definitely, probably, right? One shot kill. I had 35 experience before. Now I have 56, so I get 20. So it's not bad here. I want to really quickly compare it to how it was uh, outside the Seer's house as well. And see if we can get something a little bit uh, more efficient. But one-fifth of a level for... Uh, there's nothing here. One fifth of the level for. What am I trying to say? Help me out. One fifth of the level for like one attack is a pretty good experience. So we just need to farm a little better. I think I think uh, it's reasonable if I can two shot something. Like that's a good good uh, judgment. So I had about fifty experience. We're gonna fight the Weibo. Yield itself. Redundant. Not redundant, it's like a waste. One shot kill. Three energy for the defeat. Got some Weibo Animite. Won the game. 77, yeah. Um, the only other thing I would want to check is uh, does killing two guys give more experience than killing one little Weibo? Because if it, uh. If I can just kill Weebo once, like that's amazing. It's a twee. I don't think I can pass a turn though, so I just fight. I think twees are really ugly, especially their card uh, thing here. Like they have to look a little better, but um, the card animation or the card thing there. Good job. So we got about twenty experience before. I need twenty-three to level up this guy. He'll probably level up in this. I don't know what those little plith things do. Never used them before. I just want strong guys. I just want strong guys. Alright, so we killed two guys. We had 77 experience. Got some Plith And I have 99. So that was 22. So I don't think it matters how many uh, monsters we fight. It'll always be um, the same amount of experience. If, it's that, if that's the zone. If that's true, 
then uh, uh, it's worth it to just one shot guys. Like this Weibo is gonna give us 20-ish experience, and I it'll probably push the the Fiorock to uh, awesome heights. Probably I want to see if I got 22 last time. Energy is higher, good. I feel like the best thing to do is to build AD, so you don't use like blood magic. And I have 10, so that gave me a total of 11 experience. Um, what am I doing here? I'm going up to see. Uh, I want to see about the power powering up guys with Pruitt, the Ringsmith, and I want to see what guys I can craft. Um, because I need to make someone else. What's up, girl? First, I want to see power. So we can power up Weibo now. Weibo is level 1. Okay, it levels up. That's what it does. And it keeps the experience amount. It's just a straight, flat level up. And I think the stats went up too. So. If I'm ever, ever able to power something, I should. Forge. Um, so I don't want a Weebo. I don't want a Twee. Our balls are pretty cool looking. This Firok. I think the money has something to do with their strength, probably. Leaf Chogos are really cool looking guys. So are Wasperines. I think I want a Wasperine. Um, I know that we haven't seen them yet in the in the in the show, but uh, we're gonna go and get ourselves one because I think they're badass. Oh, one more thing we we're gonna. So uh, this episode is pretty much a wrap. I'm just gonna go uh, max out all of my items with this poor poor kid who doesn't know how to price his stuff properly. We're gonna buy. Oh, can I not hold more than uh, more than five of them? Oh, I see. You have, can only have a max of certain amounts of these things. Only have five bottle saps and eight bottle lists. Seems arbitrary. Oops, miscontrolled. I don't know what strength gems do, but we're gonna use them. I know this seems kind of stupid. I think I just sold a Runamite. Uh, but we're going to be using these things as much as possible. And before we, uh, we call it an episode, I know I keep saying that, I want to see what the historian says about some of these items. Why, hello there, Sonny. What can I tell you about? Go ahead, ask me anything. Yeah, we're going to ask about Strength Gem. Strength Gem races a creature's attack during one battle. Okay. Runa Might races a creature's attack. Oh, flat attack. So if I use Runa Might. Ah, uh, it must be it during combat. Okay. Awesome. So we're going to, uh. We're going to chill. And call it an episode when I get outside. Actually, I can just call it an episode here. Uh, thanks everyone for watching, Magi Nation. If it seems slow right now, don't worry, it's gonna pick up. It's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be cool. We're gonna get some cool things done, especially when we get some more guys. But uh, thanks for watching, and see you guys next time.